Now, there are certain ligaments that are attached to the vertebral bodies, and again, they are for the purpose of stability. There are multiple joints present in the vertebral column, so it has to be provided with a lot of ligament structures to provide that stability whenever the movements or whenever we say that they are even uh, providing the shock absorbing properties and they're even transmitting the weights to the uh, lower limbs. So there has to be a lot of stability that they are going to need uh, along this complete process. The major ligaments, the uh, major ligaments out there that are being attached to the vertebral column are the anterior longitudinal ligament that runs along the anterior bodies of the uh, vertebral column. So all of the vertebral bodies anteriorly, uh, there is present this anterior longitudinal ligament throughout the vertebral column. And then we have this major posterior longitudinal ligament, which is being attached posteriorly to the vertebral bodies throughout the vertebral column. Again, these are the major ligaments and they provide the major stability and they provide the major connection between the complete vertebral column out there. Then there are smaller ligaments. For instance, we have the intertransverse ligaments, as you can even see over here, they are being attached to the transverse processes of the vertebral uh, bodies or, or of the vertebra. So each of the transverse processes, uh, the corresponding processes are being attached by the intertransverse ligaments. And then we have the interspinous ligaments. Again, as even the name is indicating, uh, they are present between the two adjacent spines of the vertebras. And then we have the supraspinous ligaments. Again, they are attached superiorly to the spines of the vertebra, to the corresponding vertebra they are being attached over there. Finally, we have the facet capsulary ligament. Now, this facet capsulary ligament is being attached to, be, to the superior articular facets. We have two uh, articular facets, the superior articular facet, and then we have the inferior articular facet. So this uh, facet capsulary ligament is basically attached to the superior articular, to the, super, uh, to the facet capsulary ligament, the superior articular facet of the corresponding vertebra and the inferior articular facet of the corresponding vertebra. So usually it is going to basically uh, be present between the two adjacent facets of the vertebra. Finally, we have the ligamentum flavum, and it is basically being attached posteriorly to the arch of the vertebra. So the arch of all of the vertebras are being lined by this uh, ligamentum flavum, and it is again providing, it is again one of the major ligaments in the vertebral column, and all of these ligaments are basically providing stability to the vertebral column.